So um, as, to, as Dr. Subramanian said, I'm Lisa Poinsonow. I live in San Diego, California in the U.S., and I became involved with LH1 Advocacy 15 years ago when the oldest of my three children became affected by LH1. Jeremy is now a worldwide golf champion and professional inspirational speaker. Thanks to the power of social media, I've connected with thousands of people in the LHON community since that initial challenging introduction to LHON. Earlier this year, along with other LHON families, we've created a nonprofit organization called LHON Collective. LHON Collective is a global initiative dedicating to, dedicated to accelerating progress toward a cure for LHON while improving the lives of people living with LHON. One of the first initiatives undertaken by LHON Collective was to partner with RAREX to develop an LHON data collection program, or DCP. I briefly mentioned the LHON DCP and showed this slide last June when Neurof hosted an LHON international forum during which I discussed LHON patient management. Today, I'll discuss the LHON data collection program on the RAREX platform in more detail. RAREX is a research program of global genes. It's all about systematizing and scaling patient data collection and data sharing for all rare diseases. Global Genes is a nonprofit organization dedicated to eliminating the burdens and challenges of rare diseases for all patients and families globally. It's a collaborative platform. Patients with many rare diseases are contributing data to one platform, all in order to accelerate treatments for rare diseases. Access to the data is provided to researchers, clinicians, and drug developers globally. So by housing data on many rare disease patients and gathering support from various stakeholders who benefit from having access to such data, RAREX can offer the platform to patients and researchers at no cost. The way the LH1 data collection program or the DCP looks to um, an LH1 participant is what you see here on this screen. Um, so if you go to lhon.rare-x.org, you see an LHON specific portal to the RAREX platform. When we launched the LHON DCP, we started with the global LHON community group as well as the groups working specifically in Canada and the UK. As the RAREX platform is translated to more languages over time, we'll be inviting LHON communities in other countries to consider joining with us to add their voice and help drive this global effort. Even now, LHON patients located anywhere in the world may enter their data into the LHON DCP if they're comfortable in English, or using online translation tools. People who can enter data in the LHON DCP include, of course, individuals affected by LHON, but also individuals who carry an LHON mutation and are currently unaffected visually. Also, parents of children who are affected by or who carry an LHON mutation may enter data on behalf of those children and loved ones of deceased individuals who were affected by or who carried an LHON mutation may also enter data. Data in the LHON DCP can be accessed by researchers, clinicians, and drug developers at the URL noted here, lhon.rarex.org forward slash researchers hyphen access. Benefits of the LHON DCP are multiple. Patients around the world can contribute their data without leaving home. Patients own their data. Access is determined by the participants. The data is stewarded by a patient-focused nonprofit organization. Data is not siloed. No single institution or company owns the data. The data is secure with all appropriate consents and safeguards. The system is GDPR compliant. Data is standardized. There's no cost to access the data. 
And there's potential to connect to existing data collections to combine data. So what data is gathered in the LHON DCP? It starts with contact information. By having this secure repository for contact information with people carrying an LHON mutation, the community is better prepared to support researchers and industry when they have a research study or clinical trial. RareX can inform individuals who've registered with RareX about studies and trials that may be of interest to them. This is valuable for the LHON individuals and families who want to be aware of new therapeutic options. It's also valuable for researchers in pharma who want to fill their studies and trials quickly and want to get the word out to the LHON community rapidly. Data gathered in the DCP also includes a head-to-toe review followed by detailed surveys in domains where the participant reports symptoms. In the um, head-to-toe review, patients quickly identify those domains where they have symptoms, and for many, it's simply vision. However, should an individual have symptoms in any domain, then they'll be asked to provide more detailed information in secondary surveys. People in the LH1 community often report symptoms such as muscle weakness, tremor, migraine, peripheral neuropathy, cardiac conduction issues, auditory processing disorder, and it's generally called LH1+, plus, but we don't have data collected in a structured, systematized manner in large quantities that separates anecdotal information from real trends. The goal here is to help provide that rigor while gathering the data in a secure manner. I hope this will be particularly helpful in determining what non ocular symptoms are truly associated with having an LHON mutation. When a patient can upload their genetic test report, that adds objective data, and it's curated by a genetic counselor. We realize that many people who are affected by LHON don't have access to their genetic report, and that's okay. They're welcome to submit their information. And many people know they're an obligate carrier because they're on the maternal bloodline of someone who's affected by LHON but don't have their own genetic report. And again, they're encouraged to enter their data in the LHON data, um, data collection program. Additional data will be gathered in the future. One of the exciting aspects of the LHON DCP is that we've partnered with RareX and Global Genes, and they're constantly expanding and enhancing the program. We're exploring ways to identify what meaningful patient-reported outcome measures can be gathered via this program in a robust and structured way that can be presented side-by-side -side with objective data that will be most convincing to regulatory agencies such as the FDA and the EMA. Another example of potential innovation being explored is digitizing and storing OCT image data in a format that gathers key data and standardizes across various source platforms. As part of that broader effort, along with Global Genes and RareX, we've created a vision consortium with patient communities representing seven rare genetic ocular disorders, ranging from croidorenia to CRB1 to Usher syndrome. The vision consortium is working together to develop strength through collaboration by bringing various rare ocular disease communities together to define, define and work on common goals, the synergy and sharing of knowledge helps drive all of us forward. In terms of participating in the DCP, Usher syndrome is currently another ocular disease that is participating. And autosomal dominant optic atrophy, ADOA, is uh, coming in early 2024 and others are exploring joining in the future. So if you know patients with dominant optic atrophy, you can refer them to the adoaa.org website, so they'll be notified when that portal to the data collection program is open. We're promoting the DCP in a variety of ways. My colleague and co-founder of LH1 Collective, Melinda Marsh, has created a series of five-minute YouTube videos that explain various aspects of the LHON DCP, as well as interviews with several people who've entered their data into the system. The videos are all posted in an LHON DCP playlist on my YouTube channel, which you can find by searching for Lissa Points Now.
on YouTube. My YouTube channel also has recordings from all of our LHON conferences, which can be quite valuable to individuals in the LHON community. In addition, Melinda posts interesting facts from the LHON DCP in the global Facebook group. This group is the largest and most active LHON community with almost 6,000 participants. It's a vital resource for people in the LHON community seeking information about all aspects of living with LHON. Also, I have an email list with over 2,000 people in the LHON community who've asked to be updated about LHON relevant information. I send reminders about the LHON DCP and LHON email blasts to those individuals, along with other information, such as upcoming events like Zoom gatherings, LHON conferences, and more. You and your LHON patients can receive LHON emails by contacting me directly or by going to the register tab on the LHON.org website. The LHON patient community has been an exhibitor at the North American Neuroophthalmology Society, MANOS, each year since 2015 in order to enhance connections between the LHON patient and clinician research communities. Melinda Marsh will be presenting a poster of at NANOS in March 2024. If you attend this NANOS meet, meeting next March, please stop by the LHON booth and say hello and let us know you're interested in LHON. You may know that we've had an annual LHON conference in association with the UMDF's MitoMed conference since 2013. The next LHON conference will be June 27 to 29, 2024 in Cleveland, Ohio in the U.S. There we'll be updating the LHON community about the LHON DCP and encouraging additional registrations along with all the other exciting information sharing and connecting that go on at these conferences. We currently have 185 participants in 13 countries in the LHON DCP. We're working hard to increase the number of participants so that the data will be ever more robust and more valuable to all with an interest in the LHON community. In summary, the LHON data collection program is a new and growing collection of valuable information. Over time, we expect to have increasing participation in more locations. If you know of people in the LHON community eligible to participate and comfortable in English, please invite them to participate at lhon.rarex.org. You can also send your patients to the lhon.org website. On the research tab, they'll find a link to the LHON DCP, along with much other information that can make the LHON journey smoother. The global LHON patient community values its partnerships with clinicians, researchers, and pharma. The LHON data collection program is just one of the many ways the LHON community engages with professionals advancing the field. LHON Collective is now a global initiative dedicated to accelerating progress towards a cure for LHON while improving the lives of people living with LHON. And I'm happy to discuss any questions you may have about LHON at any time. And if you have any LHON patients who've not yet found our global LHON community, we hope you'll tell them about us. You can guide them to me directly or to our Facebook groups or to the LHON.org website. Thank you.